Hey everybody, this is David of Barnyard Bees. It's cold this morning. The bees are barely flying. It's still pretty chilly. It's very windy. They're just starting to move a little bit, just starting to come out. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about spring and how it's been different from the past springs. And we've been getting way too early warm weather real early and then it turns cold and then it turns hot and then it turns cold uh, this pattern in the last three years has been worse than it's ever been uh, i got blueberries up there in the past three years have struggled to put off any blueberries and when the freeze or frost doesn't interfere they, they put off more they put off i got one two three three big blueberry bushes two smaller ones and they they put out tons of blueberries but the last three years have really struggled because of the way the it's uh the pattern the spring pattern has been so different had those blueberries for 20 years never had this issue okay this same issue carries over to your bees it gets 80 80 some degrees three weeks ago uh and before that, it, it, in some time, I think it was in the early February, it got up to about 80 some degrees. And these bees start working and they, they, uh, they think it's spring. They start laying a lot, of, a lot of eggs and then it turns really cold and some of the smaller hives, they get chill brewed. And those, those eggs end up uh, dying because it gets so cold. Now that's that's an issue. That's one issue with the smaller hives, and when you got weaker colonies that are trying to build up in the spring, and uh, their their pattern will increase the queen's laying pattern as it gets warm, then it gets really cold. I mean, when it goes from 80 degrees down to 23 degrees at night, that's a huge problem, huge issues that uh, we just got to uh, contend with these days. Uh, the weather patterns are crazy. Uh, they coat the skies with uh, chemtrails, which they may take a video down I say that too loud. Um, you, you never know if, if they're doing anything with weather modification or not. I mean, you hear a lot of people talk about it. I don't know. It's, it's awful strange in the last three years that it's, it does that. And I know the LJ apple orchards, huge apple orchards in LJ, uh, they've been having a lot of issues the last few years because it's been doing this same very thing. A lot of blueberry farms, same issues. You know, when somebody has 5,000 blueberry uh, bushes in some of these uh, huge orchards, that, that's a big problem. So, let me show you my blueberries. Okay. Now, here, here's another problem. You can get them covered up, but with any cold front comes a lot of wind as well. Now the wind now is blowing from the south. I can feel it blowing from the south. But as soon as this cold pattern come in, huge amounts of winds come in from the north. And when you wrap them the best you can, because as big as they are, uh, this is what you end up with. And a lot of them don't get protected at all by the end of the cold front. So we had a cold front that was uh, uh, three days long. Then it got warm. Then we had another cold front for three more days, and now it's warm again. It's just starting to warm, and by the end of the week, it's supposed to be 80. Uh, no one could tell me that's not going to be a huge problem when it comes uh, to future uh, farmers and beekeepers is these uh, huge pattern, weather pattern swings. Um, I don't know. A lot of these right here, like right here, those are froze. Those are gone. Uh, there may be a few right here. Maybe okay. Some deep in the bush. Worth protecting more. They look like they're okay. Um, so, I did. I know this is a beekeeping channel. But this all ties in together. So, this is why I wanted to show this. Because th this is problems for a lot of people. These uh, weather patterns. Uh, let me know in your area. Is it doing the same thing? People up north may have a better, a lot better advantage when it comes to stuff like this because it, 
it will stay colder longer. They're not going to see 80 degrees. They may see 60 degrees, and that may not cause their uh, fruit trees and such to bloom out like they do here in the south. Big problem. Huge problem. Just wanted to get everybody's input on that. What do you think? Do you all think that uh, there's something happened with the, with, with the weather? Is that possible? Is weather modification even possible? Um, has anybody not noticed the, the skies of the... When you look up and you see these trails like this, does anybody else notice this? Or is it just uh, hearsay? It's, it's different, isn't it? Give me your input. What, what do you think? Just a little thought from Barnyard Bees. Don't forget, folks, uh, we've got uh, beekeeping supplies, honeybees, packages, queens, whatever you need at barnyardbees.com. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Barnyard Bees.